Dundee United went to Fur Hill looking to keep their promotion challenge going against bottom of the table Hamilton Ackies. And it was Ackies keeper Alan Ferguson who was the busiest man in the field early on, filling in as sweeper to deny Gary McSwagan once there. And then minutes later, a carbon copy. McSwagan off and running again, and Ferguson had to do it once again. And he was to see a lot of the United striker during the afternoon. It was all one-way traffic as United sought the opening goal, and they almost took the lead from this move started at the back by Malpass, and when Winter's cross came in, it fell for Malpass again, whose shot was blocked by Batsy. Aki's really showed as an attacking force in this match, Indeed, it wasn't until the last five minutes of the half that they tested Ali Maxwell. Paul McKenzie's effort was certainly appreciated by the Aki supporters. But it was Dundee United who finished the half on top. McSwagan and Owen Coyle combining well and forcing a tremendous save from Ferguson there. Then just after the break, United went ahead, and it was former Rangers striker McSwagan who got the goal. Billy Kirkwood will be happy with this. This is why he bought McSwagan from North County. A good finish, United won up. They had one, and they went looking for more. Winters cross. McSwagan's header, well saved by Ferguson, but Coyle will be very disappointed he didn't score there. All credit, though, to the Aki's keeper. A hero for them. Still, United couldn't add to their lead. This time, Winters went alone. He linked with McSwagan, but again, Ferguson saved Aki's. And just at the death, Aki's almost got a point. Clark, right on the spot. Maxwell saved, but United won this one.